All right. How are you guys doing? Let's get this party started. <clears throat> All right. So today we're doing a root and a ratio test. Some famous, famous test to determine whether or not a series converges or diverges. So let's get to the main idea. The main idea goes something like this. Uh, well, before we get to the main idea, let me talk about these uh, series that look like this. They have the, they have this uh, number here, constant, and the exponent is the index that you're racing. So this is the different powers of two thirds. This would, of course, look like something like this. Uh, this would look like uh, the zeroth power. That would be one. The next power would be two thirds. The next power would be two thirds square all the way up to whatever 200 uh, the 200 power of two thirds <clears throat> clearly that's a famous sum it's a geometric sum and we all know how to add it it's two thirds raised to the 201 minus one all over two thirds minus one super famous geometric series they are so 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 easy uh, to add uh, they are the most easy series to add in the entire universe so <clears throat> there's many more examples of that and there's nothing special about 200 you could go for example um, you know go all the way to infinity and that would just change one of the pieces in the sums it would change in fact I could tell you how it would change it would just be two-thirds raised to the infinity plus one minus one all over two-thirds minus one now being that two-thirds is smaller than one when I multiply times itself I get something smaller because I multiply by a number less than one if I do that infinite many times, this of course goes to zero and this becomes negative one over two thirds minus one. A famous fact about geometric sums where the thing that where the ratio of the R is smaller than one. Anyways, this one would converge clearly. And after you do a few of these, you get to see the pattern. It's extremely, extremely easy. You just check that number. If it's smaller than one, this will happen and you get some constant so the series converges. Clear? Alright, I'm sure you knew that already, but just to make sure we're on the same page. This is super easy, this converges. But wait, there's more. What about uh, this one right here? Five thirds, well, the, the thing that makes this one different than the previous one is the fact that this number is larger than one. And so it would diverge because if you write it out, this would be five thirds raised to the infinity plus one minus one over five thirds minus one. This is just some constant, this is some constant. This is the big boy right here. The one that's going to determine convergence or divergence, because five thirds is larger than one, this number grows uncontrollably, unboundedly, all the way to infinity. This is, of course, infinite. The series diverges, and of course, of course, the culprit of that was this ratio here that it was larger than one. All right. <clears throat> so, I hope you're convinced by now. And these uh, geometric series are extremely, extremely easy. Uh, you could take another example, pi over three. It's easy. You just scan the pi is bigger than the two, so this number is bigger than one. Therefore, it diverges, right? <clears throat> Keep it going. Uh, what about this one? The pi over square root of uh, a square root of nine, a square root of ten. Well, you just have to figure out which one is larger. Is it pi that's bigger than the square root of ten or not? Then, once you determine that, you could determine whether or not the series converges or diverges. Okay. Um, Clearly for that one, let's do a little, uh, look at this, you could just have uh, pi divided by square root of 10. Google knows everything. Whoa, it's 0 0.99999. What does that tell you about uh, our original, where is it? This is 0 0.999, therefore this one converges, and so on and so forth. Uh, 1.15, well that's obviously larger than 1, so therefore uh, that diverges. Uh, 0 0.9997, that converges because it's smaller than 1, and so on and so forth. Uh, Alright, I hope you're convinced that uh, these uh, geometric series, they are the easiest ones in the entire universe. They are so, 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 so easy. Um, Here's a list of things that you can figure out with them. Um, here, let's just summarize. Things about these uh, geometric series, some good news about them. They're extremely easy. Um, 
you get very extremely easy to identify because in order to identify all you do is make sure that it looks like this it looks like the sum of some r some number where this is a constant raised to the index where this is the index it doesn't have to start at zero it helps if it starts at zero it doesn't really matter the first whatever million terms don't matter that, that's how you identify them. It look like a constant raised to the n power. All right. What else is easy about them? Everything about them is so easy. Um, they're easy to compute. I've already computed a few of them. We've computed a few of them. Uh, they're ex extremely easy to determine whether they converge or diverge. All you do is check this r and ask yourself, is the absolute value of that r less than 1? If it is, well, then it converges. If it's larger than 1, um, diverges. One is, uh, or anything close to one, it's, it's still an indeterminate form, so the test would fail there. Uh, all right. You can almost think about these uh, geometric series as the fairies of series. They are so, so, so extremely easy. That's why uh, for this series we need some fairy music. Right? That's the way you got to think about when you think about uh, geometric series. They are the fairies of series. Okay, extremely, extremely easy. Everything about them is easy. All right, enough of that. Now the bad news. Uh, what happened here with the bad news? Well, the bad news is that so many series are, are actually not geometric. So, so much for the fairies. However. Uh, the good news is that uh, even though some non-geometric series uh, they look they are non-geometric they look non-geometric however they are actually there are many of them they are very very close relatives of geometric series so even the ones that are not perhaps they have some fairy blood in them and we can actually say something about their convergence or divergence by checking how closely they are related to a geometric series. That's the key idea right here for the lesson today. The root and the ratio test. We get to see how close are they, how well, how much do they behave like geometric series even when they are not. Alright, talk is cheap. Let's actually do some something, right? So so imagine this. Okay, imagine for a second that 